Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to determine if a number is a solution of an equation. Now basically, all we need to do is plug in and see if it works. Now a more formal and mathematical way to put that is we are going to plug in and see if that number satisfies the equation. Let's jump into our examples and see how this works. Starting with number one, where we have is x equals 15 or x equals 12, a solution of this equation. Now for this example, we can figure this out using mental math, but not all equations are going to be this simple. So let's go through plugging in the options and checking to see what the solution is. Let's start with 15. So we have x, minus eight equals four. So we will plug in 15 here and see if this works. 15 minus eight is seven. That does not equal four. So 15 is not a solution of this equation. Let's try 12. So let's start with our original equation, x minus eight equals four. Let's plug in 12 here, so 12 minus eight equals four. That is true, 12 minus eight is four, so that is a solution of this equation. X equals 12. Let's move on to number two, where we have W equals nine is a solution of which equation or equations? So we may have more than one correct answer here. Let's start with choice A. So we have W divided by three equals three. So W divided by three equals three. Let's plug in nine for W. So we have nine divided by three equals three. Nine divided by three is three. So nine is a solution of that equation. Nine makes that equation true. Let's move on to choice B and see if nine is a solution of this equation as well. We have two W plus seven equals 25. So two times W plus seven equals 25. Remember, when we have a number next to a variable, that means multiplication. So let's come to the side here. We have two W plus seven equals 25. Plug in nine for W, so two times nine plus seven equals 25. We have multiplication and addition here, so we need to multiply first. Two times nine is 18, plus seven equals 25. 18 plus seven is 25, so this does equal 25 when W equals nine. So nine is a solution of this equation. Lastly, let's try choice C. So we have 31 equals 42 minus W. So let's come to the side here. 31 equals 42 minus W. Let's plug in nine. 42 minus nine. So now we can subtract and see if this equals 31. 42 minus nine is 33. So nine is not a solution of this equation. It did not work out. So C is not correct. So there you have it. There's how to determine if a number is a solution of an equation. Basically, plug it in and see if it works. See if it satisfies the equation. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.